Hello. Today's video is about the guilt that can follow the death of a narcissistic parent. Losing someone you love is incredibly painful and difficult, but when that person is your narcissistic parent, it's also incredibly complex. Part of the complexity involves a lot of guilt. If you have lost a narcissistic parent, I'm sure you have experienced it too. If you haven't yet, you need to be prepared and know that it may happen with you as well. The last time I spoke to my mother was May 5th, 2016, and we had a huge argument. We hadn't spoken in almost exactly three years when she passed away. Since she died, I learned her final couple of years were not good. Apparently, my mother's health declined very quickly. I also noticed her handwriting became very shaky after our argument. I realized through her car's maintenance records that she must have stopped driving in 2017, not long before my father died. And I also found a pretty big dent in her car. Probably that's why she stopped driving. She realized she wasn't as capable behind the wheel any longer. Clearly, she was also very depressed. One friend of hers told me that my mother said that her cat was the only reason she wanted to live. Also, when she died and I first started to care for the estate matters, her home was in a pretty bad condition because she was unable to clean it like she once had. All of these things have led to me feeling a tremendous amount of guilt. Since I'm positive my situation isn't terribly unique, I thought I'd share ways I have learned how to help ease that guilt. I'm truly blessed with having the most amazing best friend ever. She reminds me constantly that there's a natural order of things and people reap what they sow. My parents are abusive, which is why I went no contact in the first place. I wasn't trying to be a jerk, contrary to what my family believes. I was only trying to protect myself. That's why every functional person goes no contact, and that's not really a bad thing. If you too went no contact with your abusive parent prior to their death, you did nothing wrong, just like me. It was simply the natural order of things. If they wouldn't have been abusive, you wouldn't have been forced into going no contact. What happens after no contact is also not your responsibility, and you need to remind yourself of that constantly, as do I. It's so hard not to feel guilty in these situations when you learn that your narcissistic parent suffered after you were no longer in his or her life. There's times I feel like I should have been there for my parents and taken care of them. If only I had just could have stuck it out for another couple years, I've said to myself. I'm guessing you feel much the same way. If so, remember you severed those ties for very valid reasons. Probably many very valid reasons, actually. You did nothing wrong. Whatever happened after you went no contact is not your fault and it's not your responsibility. Besides, maybe there is a very good reason God wanted these things to happen as they did. Me not being in my father's life is why he turned to God at the very end of his life. How incredible is that? Maybe that's what happened with my mother too, I'm not sure. But I do know that she is in heaven, which is a huge comfort. Anyway, ask God what the purpose was in you being no contact with your parent at the time of his or her death. I'll answer that question. Sometimes people say really cruel things about you not being there for your parent, and those things definitely make you feel worse. Remember that people who people don't know everything about the situation, which means they're not really appropriate in judging it. I know guilt after a narcissistic parent dies is very hard to handle. If and when you experience it, I hope you'll remember this video. You have nothing to feel guilty about. You did the best you could in a truly impossible situation. Thank you for watching my video.